Okay, here's how, from an admin standpoint, of how to manage using FreshBooks plugin with uh, Moodle. All right, as you'll notice up here, I'm logged in as an admin user. The first step I want to do is I want to scan down to the site administration and open that. So from site administration, I want to click on the plugins and then click down to enrollment methods, plugins. Now, as you see, there's one already listed here called FreshBooks. I'll click that. and this will bring me up to how to set up connect Moodle with my FreshBooks account. So I enter the domain name for my FreshBooks account and as you see from here this particular one is for eLightenment Learning. Um, I'll then enter the token that's also mandatory. I can set terms if I want to and just set pay within 30 days. Um, I put the email address that's connected to my FreshBooks account. In my case this is uh, the one that's connected here. I notify them if I want students notified when they when the, uh, they've been enrolled, teachers notified, or the admin, or all of them in this case. You can also add the GST tax if you want to, PST tax, and you need to let it know what to do when the enrollment expires. Now there are a number of them here. Uh, one, I need to turn on FreshBooks enrollment so that that will allow to happen. I uh, set the enrollment cost, in this case I just set it to zero. US dollars, what role do I want them to enroll in? Um, and then the enrollment duration. All of these are just default settings so you can change these once you get into the course but it just gives you a starting point. I'm going to click the Save Changes from here and then what I'm going to do is I'm, and it, it, everything's saved and I'm set to go. So what I need to do from here, I'll just go back to the profile. I just need to go into my class, a classroom, and this works for any of them and I apologize but Chrome seems to be moving very slow today um, and I'm going to pick the content samples class now once I've done that I will go I'll go into the class itself so you'll see the exact same thing that the students or the, the, t the admins that will be using this will see alright from here you see the class is set up I go down to the course administration and I'm going to click users. I'm going to click enrollment methods and it, it'll bring up a screen that will give me the options for my enrollment methods. As you see here I'll be I can add a method called FreshBooks and I can put the I can name it something identifiable so that I know. Allow FreshBooks enrollment I'll click yes I'll set the cost US dollars in my case, but you can set whichever you want to do for there. I can set assign a role, so it'll assign them as a student in this case. How long do I want them? I can enable that and set how many days I want them before it takes them out of the class. I can also set a start date and finish date. And once I've done that, I click add method. And this should set them up to be able to do uh, enroll with um, through uh, FreshBooks. Now if you want to see what this would look like, Let's go to courses. I think I'm pretty much enrolled in both of them, but we will see here. Um, Try to think which one I put you guys in. No, it'll take me back into it. So I'll just do this. I'll go here. I'll take over here to incognito and bring that up here. And it should not should show me the course without actually requiring me to log in. Nope, it does go require me to log in. So I'll do so. Once it loads up. And I come here, I log in as a student. And here's what the student's going to see. Now when they click that, they'll receive a um, they'll receive an invoice which they go through the regular FreshBooks system to pay and then uh, they'll automatically be enrolled in the class. Thanks a lot and hope this helps.